Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the ST Podcast. I'm Jack Millington, and joining me this week, as usual, as ever, is Mikey Heating. Yeah, right, fella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's an interesting. sexy bastard that is. Mikey. Alright. Yeah, you don't have to yeah. introduce yourself twice, mate. You haven't, you haven't earned that statue yet. Yeah. Do you like that, bud? Fucking shit, mate. I'm rocking a lot here. Oh my god. But, other than that, I'm fucking amazing. Are you, are you, are you trying to big yourself up? Oh, amazing ream race. Sheedy, sheedy scars, you know how I got them off. I got them like right and back, man. Sheedy scars, I'm a beer now. <laughs> <laughs> it's been you know. a nutty week in terms of news. There's been all yeah. sorts of stuff. Um, probably, the arguably the most... The most notable one is Robin Williams, you're right, yeah. How do you feel, Mike? Because I I, I have no idea how I feel. Play, play those out, that's it. Hmm. Play, play this door. Well, because he was in a, he was in a number of films, I right? Yeah, he was in that. He was in um, um, Good Will Hunting. That's a cracking yeah. film. Stoutfire, Miss Stoutfire, yeah. yeah, that's fucking. That's fucking yeah. amazing. Um, uh, and um, oh, the cult classic Flubber, obviously. Yeah. The RV. Around. What was on with the RV? Can't remember, but I know what you're it's, it's not old, but. No, two thousand, yeah. Like a relatively new-ish. Um. Yeah. I don't. I do feel a bit bad because his TV show got cancelled, and that's. What arguably has caused him to commit suicide? I, I don't know. I just can't feel. It's like he's gonna be. It's one of them deaths where you think he's died too young. He shouldn't have gone yet. Sixty-three. Sixty-three years of age. That's just. I mean, and plus the fact that his wife said that he was stu- suffering from the early stages of Parkinson's disease, which is we all know Parkinson's disease probably the most famous cases are they. Because he's got it too. Mm. Well, um, yeah, I don't know. Apparently, like, uh, you know, because he had problems with drink and drugs early in his career, and then he managed to sober himself up, and he was completely solid yeah. with it and all that. I mean, all sorts of rumours have been battling around saying that he had money issues, which I just can't imagine him ever having money issues. When you think about it, so he had a. Um, he had, he'd made a lot of money from the stuff he'd done, so he fair to mm-hmm. But saying that, he'd lost $20 million, eh, $20 million off the divorce. Very nice. Off the last two divorce, by the way. Really? Yeah. $20 million compared to what he's made isn't, mm. isn't that much, to be fair. Oh, fucking hell, like, wait, wait, Compared wait, to what he had. Yeah, like, where would it be 20 fucking million? We'll see 20 million. <laughs> I raise you a pound. <laughs> No, but it's sad, really, because... Uh, no, no, I think about it, I do feel a bit sad. He actually won, he won the Academy Awards for um, Good Will Hunting. He was amazing. Did he ever win an Oscar? Yeah, that's when the Academy, Academy Award is. Oh. An Oscar. Yeah. Well, um, I them all next door. No, it's, it's just, there's two names for the Oscar, which is the Oscar Award. The Emmy is and all that. An Emmy is music. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. The Emmy is... Emmy is music. music. Yeah. Oscars, which is... you got the Golden Globe, which is also That's the one. Actor, yeah. That's the fucking one. The Golden man. Globe is the second one underneath. Is the Golden Globe the one with the stick? It's got like a... I don't. It looks like a football, but like the way it is, the trophy, it's like a stick, man. Holding the world up. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, that's good trophy. Dope. Dope. No, you're right, yeah, it's the one that... Dope. It's, like got, Dope. it's got like the world and then it's got a movie. Real going around it. Oh, I was on that fella, but yeah. I, I, I got the globe bit right. Like, you got the globe bit right, yeah. Well, the fact that it says, hmm, it's golden and it's globe, just think about this one. <laughs> I think it's a bronze book. <laughs> it's a bronze brick, mate. <laughs> It's it not them bronze bricks you get those from Aldi. It was made in the hard places of big and enemies. <laughs> Alright, well, Anna and Ophelia got one of these bronze bricks we're gonna throw it through Aldi, see you off, and it's through freaking ass. Bounces back here, ah, fucking hell, we're not laughing. The 
Sean's Rick just starts to just, like turn into a and human, just starts morphs off, just walks away. It's like, come on, Rick, me, mate. Uh, now, I've seen my, I've seen my best mate, Silver Stick. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, no. Gold Q, I guess. Gold, no, I'm no, it'll be Gold Globe, Silver Stick, Bronze Brick. Um, platinum Wheel. No, Platinum Brick. <laughs> or Brick or Brick. brick you no, know, because you've got to do... So it'd be like G, G, S, S, S B, B, P, P. <laughs> Performance power! Anyway, back to the though. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. He's probably one of the best actors I've ever seen. Really? Not mine. Really? Mm-hmm. Look at it this way. Yeah, well, yeah, he had a, definitely had a d- diverse range. But you know what's funny? His comedy, right? Slapstick. People used to say how oh, it was funny, how he thought of it. Yeah, but yeah, if you watch his stand-up comedy... I've never watched him stand-up. You can go watch it on YouTube and stuff like that, right? The thing is, he's actually telling the truth. Mm. It was basically a another Jimmy Savile. A lot of com- kind of thing. No, no, no, no, no, no, no. no, no, no, no. no. Jimmy Savile in terms of what that on? Actually, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> but it was like another it's another Jack D. Yeah, Jack D tells stories about his life. He's fair. That'd no, be yeah. Right. No one believed him though. I thought he was a fun bastard. Do you know what I mean? So he's like, when he does a joke when he's sitting there, he's like. Remember, like, one day you're sitting in and you get a job, you know, and all this stuff. And the next thing, you know, you're smoking this and you're drinking and all this shit. And you go, well, what year, what, what's happening? He goes, oh, we're in depression, you know, and all this shit. Yeah. And at first I thought it was, you know, we were weird joking it. And people, all the answer still happen. But then I looked at it and it come out on it, because I was watching it in the news, because I didn't know about it. But yeah, I didn't know he did stand up. Yeah. Back in the day. My dad went, it makes you laugh that. To fix the one that you thought was actually generally having a laugh, he's being deadly serious. It's just, you think. But, um, just, oh. It, it, it, yeah, it's, it, a, it's a nutty one when you think about it. Yeah. Um. It's a sad person, really, to be honest, for Dog Moon. I wasn't, I wasn't think, expecting it, put it that way. Yeah, I, I no, that. I don't think anyone was expecting I mean, Rick Mail, no, no, no, no. Oh, well, done, People man. have been saying, people, because when now that thingy. What the um, fuck are Bucky's going to do? No, not the Bucky's, no. Yeah. Other people have like, been saying, oh, when Rick Mail went to said who's going to be the next one? Mm. And then it was Robin Williams. People are now been saying because they need. Because Robin Williams lived such a. He was doing drugs and everything back in the day, before he sobered up and everything, he, he, he completely destroyed his body. People are not saying that Jim Carrey could go along like that, because he was the same. It's not unlike, I think other people have been going, what's fucking Charlie Sheen as well, but I don't... Yeah, but this but is... The thing with Charlie Sheen is he still does it. <laughs> He's not arsed. No, he doesn't thing. care, does he? Everyone else is like, oh, where's the cops? He'd be the kind of person that go to a donut shop and go... Yeah, we'd say a person go in a donut shop and ask for a weed filled donut. Yeah. Alright, mate, can I have the cocaine special this week? Yeah, yeah. the cocaine, yeah. exactly. But, right, um, Charlie, lad, there you go, please. Oh, yeah, because everyone in America has just got uh, a scouse accent. Yeah. yeah, well played, that man. That'd be a bit awkward that you think, ah, you know, get, get, get lucky, get off here. Alright, get. Oh, <laughs> oh <shit>. no. <laughs> oh, no. Right. I'll, I'll try and just think of it this if it, I, I'll be like, I'll stop in the morning to you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst it. Irish accent I know, ever. Stop in the morning to you, mate. Wow, that's so Irish, that way. Stop in the morning to you, mate. How are you doing today? Okay. Um, yeah, it's sad. It wasn't the only death, though, this week. Um, and, it, I mean, to be fair, Robin Williams' death did overshadow the death of a, a star that probably you probably wouldn't have heard of until this week, Lauren Bacall. She was an actress. But she died in 89, so she died. Oh, yeah, the about that, yeah. And she died on the same day, people were going, what, the, the, the worst day to die on is to die on Robin Williams' day. But it happens, you can't fault that. And it was, Fate has many things in store for many different people. She, she, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, she was that good. She... 
you know when you, when you see these stuff, like when Mickey Rooney died, is, and his, his career spanned decades. His spanned seven decades. That's how good she was. But see, I remember, I've, I've watched a couple of films of her in. Mm. And um, the first thing that I did watch, and it was her first film, was To Have and Have Not. I don't know if you've heard of Humphrey Bogart. Probably I Might have done. But those two ended up getting married on the of that film. But, um, you know how you expect sort of like a soft sort of voice from an all Like you say, I think probably the most, arguably the most hot actress right now in terms of Scarlett Johansson. Who's, who's, in, every, who's, in, who's in everything at the minute. I don't mean the physical, I meant... Mentally. No. I meant, in ter- <laughs> no, I meant in terms of hiring for films and stuff. She's got quite a soft voice. Jennifer Lawrence has got a soft voice. Yeah. They all have- Lauren Bacall has a husky voice. And it's just, as a different type of character that comes with it, it's amazing watching it. It's quite cool. I don't think I'll watch it. But, um, yeah, she she's... Don't investigate the internet. Types of buttons. So. Types of buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any buttons, mate. Oh, shit, I've lost my keyboard. What, uh... <laughs> I can't get on to me, what? Fuck me, fuck me. She was, um. More than 50 years after the debut, she, in the mirror that has two faces, and for a Golden Globe and an Academy Award nomination, which is pretty impressive. 50 years after the debut, pretty impressive. Um, to be fair to her, there are pictures of her when she was younger. She's absolutely stunning. To be fair, it's not like you could be one of those people that say, "I want to make a time machine just to go back and say hi." No, I'm the type of person who would go back in time to go back in time. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd love to just go back to say 1066 with like, I mean, like, I literally just doing a light machine. Go, just sit there and go. All right, lads, I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go. You're gonna kick their ass. You're gonna try and kick their ass. They're gonna kick your ass even more. And you're gonna cry. He's gonna get shot in the head by an arrow. And then um, yeah, this place is gonna become French, unfortunately. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so if any of you go for me, I'm just going to pop a cow in here. It would be 7.62. She won a... Um, she also acted on... St- she, was, she was in... Have you ever seen the film Orient Express? No. No. Okay, I have a lot of people asking me what part is you. She uh, was in that. Uh, she also... Know. She acted on stage. She won Tony Awards twice. Tony Awards are pretty impressive. Uh, uh, it's looking through mm-hmm. all this stuff that mm-hmm. she did about... No, I've been like quite a few important passes. Oh yeah, and and last thing is that she was a uh, voice in a character in Family Guy. I mean, it says a lot to go from movies, TV, stage, everything. She did a lot. She did radio and everything. Like TV, fun. So, TV. But it's a shame, really. She died of a stroke, man. It's just sad. Right. Which which kind of makes you think how much further would she die? But eighty nine is a good age to make too, to be fair. When I mean I don't want to live that long, but it's a good I'll age to live. I'll be happy if I make fucking fifty two. Oh, I'll be happy to die at forty. To be honest with you. Well, I don't care. <laughs> well, you want to be in retirement home with me and Scotty? No, I don't want to be. I'll be cool, I mean, I don't want to be MG. I don't want to be. I don't want to live in a retirement home. That's the whole point. Be you, Scotty. No. Oh. Keen Enterprises retiring home for one. <laughs> that, that's exactly what I mean. I just really don't want it. If it says Keen on it, not having it. Why is it? Not having it. Why? Uh, hey, Milo. Hey, can you imagine me, 63? Hey, Milo, you see me in new car race. It runs on shit. <laughs> can a car run on a poo? Well, I found out. <laughs> Uh, ah. I just had a colon me. what happened? Well, you know, I was using that poo-powered car. Yeah. Do you know what I was getting the poo <laughs> I'm sorry, no, lad. I just have to be done for testing and scientific test. I'm going to I'm gonna move on. Yeah. It be. But just before I do, before I go on to proper news, with death comes hope in this next thing. We all know Schumacher. I had to say something quick. No. We've got in there. The pillow. Williams. Oh, go on. Um, on Twitter, I did they say uh, you know, my respects and stuff. Yeah, naturally. And I'm not even joking. I, I, I, I thought it was on iPhone. One of them people say 
Yeah, like. a lot of people thought that. People. And then the next morning it was all the news and thought, oh, shit. <laughs> like, I was like, but I still said it, you know, the whole like, yeah, the night yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, Jesus Christ. Do you know something that you just mentioned in Twitter, Paris Hilton did another thing to increase her credibility of being a flipping idiot. She's on, she's on Twitter. No, don't you dare follow her. She's <laughs> the, she is the thickest person. Do you know what she said? She went, uh, OMG, I can't believe Robin Williams is dead. Such a good singer. Yeah. Yeah, she said that. Yep. Stupid cow. Sorry. Stop messing about with my thing. Are you telling me? That's what she put. You can go, and people, you can go look for this. This is genuinely true. She put that. Because she's stupid. Fuck this. <laughs> she's one of them people who's only famous because her parents no. are rich. No, see, the only reason she's famous is she's soft, she's soft on her mouth. Fuck it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a poor movie out of it. Anyway, moving on from that delicate <laughs> subject. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, not bad. Well, I've got so some news about England. If there's more people like it, I just want to be just executed. I'm not even joking, because he's just ridiculous. Do you, want me to, do you want me to show you a list of people like that? <laughs> oh, now, man. not now. Oh, mate, maybe another time. Though. Yeah, I don't want to die just yet. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I want to at least get to 22, have a car, and have a possibility of a good life. This, this news story came out literally yesterday, you know. Um, Jack Bones in, in Shut up. The gay. <laughs> <laughs> man. A man has died after 35 people, including children, were found in a shipping container at Tilbury Docks. Tilbury? This is in Essex. Uh, the survivors believed to be from the Indian subcontinent are said to be recovering fairly quickly in most cases at nearby hospitals. Firstly, let me just bring a point in. Were they immigrants? Or were they shipped here against their will? I mean, firstly, sorry for the guy who died, but... Uh, but my yeah, I've been, that's why I was waiting for oh, you. Yeah, that's I, why that pause of silence. <laughs> like, I, it could be anything. Basically, you know, you don't know if they've gone to the British Embassy oh, trying to get a visa. Wait, wait, wait, wait. I've got something here now. That's just they were discovered after a freighter arrived from Zeebrugge, Belgium, at about six o'clock and was being unloaded. Zeebrugge, but nothing. But from Belgium, yeah, it means Never heard of a long way to um, thingy. So they do the song "Long Way to Tipperary." Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a long way to be broken. It's a long way. Never heard of it. No, but I've just made it up. The Z program, eh? Yeah, no. Tipperary. I've heard of Tipperary somewhere. Yeah. It's basically, what I'm trying to say is they you don't know if they've travelled, like you walked and everything all the way. I don't really. I mean, it, it, are they are they illegal immigrants? I mean, if they are immigrants, then let's. I don't. I don't. To be brutally honest, people are moaning about oh, all these. Uh, let, I'm just going to be a, a typical British against racist sort of thing going. Uh, why are they all uh, coming over here and all that? So why are we looking after them in our care now? And someone made a good point actually. He's like. About the like the um, immigrant system, and he said, um, "Why are we looking after you, lazy bastards?" Then that, no, the, the point was, it's like they bring in. This is this is how messed up it is. There are people who come in from Romania or whatever. Romania was one of these specific things. They came in, don't work. They um, live in a house with about another 11, 11 other people. Mm. They're all from Romania. The government's paying for them to keep them in the house. And yet, the government can pay to send the money for their kids back home. Why the hell is that like that? It that just shows you how messed up the whole flipping system is. If you, if you, and to be fair to them, everyone's going, oh, all these immigrants, but it's not their fault. If you, say if you were, um, you're struggling over there, and you got struggling with family and everything, and someone offered you a, I don't know, a flip, Imagine if someone offered you a house, uh, paid money, and look, were to look after your kids, if you went and lived and worked for a little bit in, say, Romania, you'd yeah. take it, wouldn't you? You'd absolutely take it. You can't blame the Wait, people coming in for that. You blame the MPs. Sorry, you blame the MPs. 
For them to send money over, they can send money over. That's where you're wrong. No, that's true. No, that's true. Honest. No, the money gets put into their account. They go to the bank themselves. No, get the money out. Not just I'm that they've started sending. sending. The governments have started sending to them too. I'm not even. Uh, you know, it used to be like that. That's how they used to do it. Now the governments are doing it for them. How stupid is that? Sure, I don't get the money. I don't get why we're not looking after our own. I'm not. You know, I'm not being like. I don't have a problem with people coming into the country. Well, I we've got we too like many. Australia. We've got too many. I think we should be like Australia. <laughs> no, the Aussies basically have a thing. If you know what you're doing, if you qualified, yeah, yeah, I, uh, you're just gonna sit on your ass. <laughs> Is that how the Australian go? I uh, in your home, lad. I uh, like. Here's a job for you to work at Down Screen Fix. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, you can work at Mr. Magoo's down there, single Mr. Magoo, what the? <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story, I'll tell you um, You can go work at Mr. Magoo's and Beck and Edo. Mm. Yeah, and then just... The blank, I don't get it. If you just... I hate the people that just sit on their arse. And they've got, like, really nice... Like, they've got cars and like, all this stuff. I really stuff. don't get that myself. And I just feel like saying, I'm not being funny. How's that even fair? I would, if it was my Britain, I would give people benefits. And I would there. be the transport minister. No, not no speed limits. They would vote for the S team. No. <laughs> what I would do, what, if it was my, firstly, I wouldn't name it the S team party because it would just not work. Secondly, if if I were, I would give people benefits as long as they were either in work or actively seeking for it. If you're not working, I will make. I will come down so hard on you. I will make sure that you. Your kids get taken away from you, you have everything taken, you live in fucking hostels, I don't care. Unless you're actively seeking for work, you can sod off out of our country. I don't care. And that's not, that's not just to the thin people who are coming in. That's to our own. I'm sorry, people who are that lazy should piss off. I don't care. I'm not happy. And here can, you, here can you use me. That's my first and hopefully only run to this podcast, but they, they get me mad. Are you mad, bro? Yeah. You yeah, mad, yeah, bro? Yeah. And you can I've understand. Never, you I've can... never known you to go. Oh, like, I'm, I'm I'm actually... honest. That it's that honest. I, I hate it when people just get 50, 60 grand benefits and go, I'm not looking for work. I don't see the point. What 11 kids look at that? All right, then. We'll take your money away from you and your kids. You mm-hmm. live in a hostel. Until you get work and again, we won't give you benefits. We won't give you sod all. I don't care. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm not. And, and you know what? And if health and safety was coming in, all and he said, "Oh, it's against human," piss off to you as well. You, too much stuff. You do realise you're the European human rights and that European Union. I, I just yeah, leave. you know. I just leave. You know, Bill, <laughs> I'm you do that there's bits in that that stuff the government fucking is over. I, That's why some people. Are, oh, leave your. But if it was my government, I'd do it for the people. I would. I would concentrate on the people. I would completely flipping ruin governments so that it would be proper people running it rather than these arsehole MPs what? who just sit there. Jeremy and Millington. No, no, General no, of the no. Armed Forces. Do you know what it is? No. <laughs> Do you know what it is? <laughs> it's all these Oxbridge types who just sit there going, oh, let's see who's got the biggest mouth. It is, though. You've seen them in the House of Commons arguing over bullcrap. Even. If you're going he to argue, took the subway out my fridge. Yeah, oh, he's not me, me. He was, and they're all like, he took me it's, like, it's, like what, it's like watching this the school. It's watching the school. It's like watching school. He's going, oh, oh, get on, get on. He's just like, are you a man or are you a kid? Funny. I would just get rid of all that crap. Do you know what's funny? David Cameron ruled with us together. So what I'd do, I'd just put the Conservatives in the Millennium Dome, complete waste of time, and just nuke it. I wouldn't nuke it, mate. I wouldn't nuke it, I would nuke it though. I also nuke it. It's about the, se- it's about the same place as Daddy, you go. <laughs> but back to my point. But you know, we could invest in, Bill. Yeah, we could. And... Um, I what I was going to say, though, is that... Uh, Apparently, in these containers, you said uh, they'd searched about 50 other containers on the flighter called mm-hmm. the uh, the Nord Stream. I've heard about that before, actually. I thought even that there's a couple of them. And uh, had been searched and no other people had been found. So that's a bit strange, though. Oh, I love the BBC News. I know. 
But it's a bit strange, that isn't it? When you think about it. So, uh, they'd be interviewed for interpreters. Uh, how do police say they believe the lorry which was delivered the containers has been identified through CCTV footage? They do not, however, have in information about where it originated from. That's a bit. That's a bit dodgy, that. It's got all the all the hallmarks of being a bit dodgy. To be fair, manifest. We might not put it on manifest. It is not known where the container one of sixty four aboard the P and O vessel originated. P and O. P and O. Yeah. But this is nice. Yeah, that's a naughty one, that isn't it? Yeah. Do you think they were stowaways? Probably. There's a good chance when you think about it. Maybe not immigrants, but stowaways. Actually, no, it's the same thing. Well, you don't know, it's not the thing. Yeah, it's a it's bit... It's so old, unless you were there. Yeah. Making the deal. It's a bit, a bit bizarre. Oh, look at this fucking prick on his belly. Oh, oh I mean, sh- get rid of him. I mean, he's a fan fella. I want to make the world better by giving my daddy a fucking lordship, an MBE, a CBE, um, a fucking KBE, fucking... There's no such thing as KBE. <laughs> Knights of the British Empire. Mm, yeah, but it's not militant. No. Not, I've never seen, never seen anyone like Dame Kelly Holmes has never had a KV. <laughs> no, like it's one of those things. It's uh, you build up, you build up. So if you have your MBE, then you get like a CBE. Is it CBE then MBE. CBE is commander. Yeah, it's CBE, MBE, and then OBE, and then knighthood. Yeah, no MBE. Yeah, MBE. Um, it's a weird thing, anyway. Anyway, in England this week, everybody had their... Uh, well, anyone who's a college student had their A-level results. And we all seen it on Thursday. All them places are going to go on this one, are they going to do And they're all going nuts. Which you want, because I, I was quite happy when I got mine. I don't know. Yeah. Fucking... Wait, me, so I felt like, oh, yeah, they got an A, I got 50. See but I made, I made, I made, I made, I wouldn't see it as that far, I got a C in two U's. <laughs> Look at <laughs> I drive a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> it, is a, it is a good point though, because Richard Branson never got any degrees or anything, and yet, look at him now. They had a virgin media and everything, so, you know. Virgin. It, it, you know, yeah. but. Do you know they used to have a game studio? Yes, yes, yes. I never, and they made the original Command and Conquer. Yeah. So they got bought off by EA. Mm-hmm. Actually, I've got to think about EA later that I want to talk about. But God, I, I made a list of things that you always see or hear or stuff at A levels, and um, I've got one too. Firstly, you always see them bloody pictures, don't you? Weird jumping. You know what I'm on about? Yeah, yeah, that sort of ah, they're doing all like doing everything. Like well, they're in like a church or something, they're doing like the blues blues, like, ha ha ha jumping about and everything. Do you know like one of those old 80s high school movies and they go, yes! <laughs> you always see that sort of thing. And in the Bearcats version, ah, Frosty Jack, man, let's get this on the go. Do you know also, a lot of noticed with A-level just at Star Days when you get them. Yeah. It's always bloody, and I'm not, I'm not being like stereotypical or anything, but I always see Blondes doing some sort of gymnastic photo thing, don't you? Have you seen that? It's starting to pop up more and more often now. What's that? You always see, like, a load of Blondes all, like, standing by each other, and there's always, like, one or two of them doing, like, a cartwheel or something. Oh, I've got these results, sort of thing. You ever seen it, no? I'm not going to lie to you, Ace. I don't purposely look through other people's fucking... Well, you always see it through the news. I, I always remember seeing it. Mate, I, I don't... You, you look at someone that doesn't read the paper. Yes. I read it, like, every so often. Right. <laughs> when life is scared and I can't find the laptop, my phone's dead. And I... All the police PlayStation's not well in your oh, yeah, Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Always, phone. always see people screaming into a mobile phone. Always see that. <laughs> I did it! I remember when I got my. I thought, what to do? I don't know. I get like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like in Oh my god! I got an E! Like some girl was so made up of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a couple of C's and not really good to me. Do you know what I see them? Do you see them photos of people opening the envelope as well? That, that, that, I like, found, tense I found moment. that. I always loved doing that. I was I, like, ah, what I shit. thought was funny, wait, right, last year in college, mm. you actually got to ask for your permission to the photo. Yeah, they do. They do now, yeah. And you know what's funny? They didn't even ask us. Well, so they seen you as a small of me. No, because I'm sitting, um, if there's a picture of me sitting in college, I'm actually going to kick off. Because they did. They actually just walked in. I was okay, lads, uh, do some work. 
So I went, why is it? Is it <laughs> I've not worked all the way through yeah. the year. What do you expect me to start is it, now? Is it <laughs> picture time? Is it joke? We tear around this. I was fucking sitting there with the camera. That's, that's so if I, no, but if I take, if they get put on a website or something, I'll just say, I want them removed and I want to know why you did it without yeah, permission. Yeah. I want to see where it said I had it. Yeah, definitely. Because I know we didn't, we didn't even say anything, any of the lads say mm. it, we didn't even get asked. They just asked the tutors, you can't, you could use that like five, ten years ago. You yeah, can't you do that yeah. now. You can't do it now, no. I've got another thing here. Do you, do you have any, um, I don't know, if there's any twins or maybe triplets at your college? We had a couple, there were a good set for you, a set of twins in our college. Oh, I know, yeah. Now you stupid fucking <laughs> twins. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> But uh, well, if you notice, though, it's like every twin I always used to see the twins rather. I was just they always had um, they always got the same bloody results every single thing they did. No, I didn't. Mm. But they were, every time I was like that's supposed to be like a common thing. It's like despite how maybe contracted some people may be in terms of personality when they're twins, but they get the same results. This is a bit funny, I think. But yeah, well, never mind. Um, we always have the against all the odds type of person. So oh, that's obviously, me. obviously that's me. me. Yeah, no, no. You, you all that's expect me. it now, but now it's like, uh, you, yeah, I, I, like Mike's gonna pass six months there. Fucking hell, he passed. Yeah, I know. It's like you see me you always, rolling, yeah. and you always see it like you've gone through like the hardest sort of fall or the. I mean, with me, when I had my results. The government predicted when they didn't, you know, because they always had to do cats in year seven. Do you remember they were? No, uh, sat and, and the like and the uh, no, not sats. That was no, you did your test in year cats seven. Cats was in year seven. Yeah. Cats, yeah. That was like the and, predicted um, grade you get. The government year. predicted that I'd get I'd fail French, I'd fail maths. I'd only get a C in English. I only get a, a D. I think it was a C or a D in science. I got an A star in English. I got a C in maths. I got an A star in French, <laughs> and I got a I got a uh, a B in science, and you know it's kind of like you know it's kind of like define the government's beliefs since 1995, which is a thing I always run every time I get my results because it's just like let's see what they can do. But you always get it though, don't yeah. you? You know I got. Yeah. I was been told I would have failed everything. I actually you got told that. You failed most things. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fail everything. I think you'll find no. that is the. That's when they found out they did engineering, they went, oh, we could fail this, this, this, probably pass that, if he possible, this, this, this, and that. And they got a B in maths. I was so close to a B. I mm. was, I was crying my eyes off. You, I think you probably got a higher mark in maths than I did. Cause I, I feel actually quite I good at I'm ma- generally I quite, I, I liked it. Because it was school. a challenge. Like, in plus, high school, anyway. Plus I liked using it to go in, yeah. with, you know, the engineering, because you have to. Like, you have I to work all distances. Mm. You know, all these angles and everything. So I was generally, you know, I had it quite thought through. Yeah. Um, English. I loved maths. I, they I actually ma- said I was going to get a U. I loved maths. Just to get an A life in both <laughs> Englishes. Uh, science, me got a B, double B. Uh, I got no, I got a, I got a high B in the coursework. And I missed out by two marks on the test, but for some reason brought that it brought it down to CC. Hmm. Don't know why. The PT, uh, fucking slag of the teacher, didn't even teach us, it. Teach us anything. I got a U in the test and an A in the coursework. Altogether, I got a G. Should have been good. Depends how much it was worth. But, um, <laughs> you always get, um, you always get them flipping kids, though. Oh. You see that. You always, no, no, no, no, them, you always get them. Oh my god, my, my, my, my. You always get them. <laughs> although you get them kids, you always get those kids who have just got A stars and bloody A's and everything. You yeah. always have that kid that's like above everyone else in terms of academic. You always got that kid that thinks they're the bigger one. Oh my god, I've got A star. Fucking amazing. You just feel like just grabbing a pistol out and going, fucking amazing. Now, the thing, the you're thing that you're fucking sat and fucking four and moving now, you prick. There's two more that I've got listed here that I wrote down. You, and you, it's, these are the parents. You always get, 
Oh, we jump to the other in my day. Always oh, get them parents. Always get them parents. Oh my, when it back in my day, it was so much harder. Say fucking test, mum. Say fucking test. So much hard back <laughs> in my day. Yeah, when it was O levels of the GCSEs. My dad's mate actually eats. Oh, my dad's always thought he's got his mate. Got him two O's and an F the first time he did the test, and then he did the research and he got. Two F's in an O, and he could spell OO F off with his face. Who's dead off? Who's dead off? I actually tried to spell but with my grade. That's all shit. That's how I've got more interest in spelling. I, spell, I could spell carb. <laughs> I, I actually tried to spell sort of that on my grade, and I just couldn't. Oh, this is the, the, the last, the last parent thing you always. Not the end of the world. Always, always get them back. Did you get your board of oh, you're a fucking idiot. You, you should have, <laughs> you should have fucking been back. Um, got, and then you got the kid that sits there and goes, Was that my fault? Cop was having a double XP weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 2,000 cop points. <laughs> oh my god, I just had to get that camo for me and for me. <laughs> Oh, that was where most of my life was spent in year 10 and 11. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> uh, do, do you know what? Do you know what? Oh a lot of people God. don't. Do you know what a lot of people don't? Do you know what a lot of people don't attribute to, well, parents attribute to their sons and daughters' violence? They say they're smartphones. And this is a cracking segue that I've just done to go into our next study. Have a guess how old... What are you doing? Well, have a guess how old the first world smartphone is. And you're going to be surprised. If you're going to be. 30 years old. No, smartphone, not that one. 20, 15 years old. You're going to be 15 years old. Yeah. Not probably not. How old? 20 years of celebrating this anniversary this week. I bet, I wonder if you know... <laughs> I wonder if you know how much... Uh, not how much, rather. Who it made it? Nokia. Not Nokia. Motorola. No. It's a... It, um, they do more sort of... Um, Porsche design. No. You see the adverts all the time. For them, but they're not... LG. No. Sony. Mm. Not so, oh, let me just, no let me BlackBerry. Just, no, it won't. No. This is the this is a smartphone. Just like, uh, Apple. Nineteen? No. Not Apple. Either. We could be here all day. Oh, tell um, me. It, it costs nine hundred dollars. So that's about what seven hundred. So it's 700. a young company. Um, yes, yeah, I only ever worked in America, operating with a, within a fifteen state network, which is pretty impressive for nineteen ninety four. 1994. That's 20 years ago. Yeah. And then a few months later. Popped out the most disgusting big nose of men. Um, I'll just say then. I know if you put right. Did you, did you, did you give up? I don't know if they still do phones anymore, but they still do electronics. Um. Toshiba? No. Yeah, I was going to say, what the hell? Um, it's not Microsoft either before you say anything. Google, no one did Google. No, Google went nah, around. What is it? Give up the web. IBM. Fuck off, IBM. IBM. The IBM Simon was the first ever mobile phone to get software applications or apps using a stylus and touch screen. 1994, that's it then, that's the picture of it. That looks bigger than my head. But <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Put that on the description. Yeah, the description. Man. If you want to look how big Simon is, I'll, I'll have a guess though. Have a guess though. Um, it, it weighed ha- no, you don't need to guess. It weighed half a kilo. It's like a brick. Though. So like a brick. It's like, hey mate, you see me brick? It wow. was probably the most impractical phone I've ever seen. Have a guess how long the battery life was. Two hours. Ooh no. Lower or higher? Uh, I'll give you one more guess at lower. Hour. Yeah. Do you know the worst thing was? 
Yeah. There was no mobile internet at the time, so although it was fax enabled, it couldn't send emails unless it was connected to a, to a web wire or a computer. So what the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh, I can just the, the, pop the computer up, no, but I can use my phone instead. The thing is, though, despite being a commercial flop, it, uh, it, it did lay the groundwork for the, for, for, well, the PDAs, essentially. Because the smartphone... What does actually, no, PDA smart stand for? Mm, personal Digital Assistant. The word smartphone was not coined until the year 2000 when Ericsson launched the R380. I remember that one. Did you know? I had the first... Um, Device to use the Symbian mobile operating system, which I don't even know if it's still exists anymore. Did you know BlackBerry early started with the corporate reason? The BlackBerry Corp. Yeah. I'm saying it was the, the reason for the took the pad, yeah. Was for corporate, it was for corporate use, mm. so you could be like using it. Then you could be typing like mail, emails and yeah. stuff like that. And then they found that kids, uh, like, general public ones are interested in it. That's why they brought up the whole BBM thing. And then now we fuck themselves over it. The thing is though, people weren't really using smartphones until Apple launched the iPhone, so it's mm -hmm. kind of kinda of took its time to get in. Yeah. Good news though, as I was gonna say before, about Schumacher. Oh wow I've got people are shoe. He's well prefer if you take the pull off your legs. It's on the side of my head. Well, and it's apparently, like, he's on the road to full recovery, according to his wife. That's the case. I think, to be fair, though, to his wife, he's going to be there more often than his flipping dog, to be fair. In the quack, yeah. Well, to be fair, how much fucking money has he got? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jack has officially been selected as a sex. I don't know what goes on with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully she will pop up. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, uh, the main news this week. I'll, I'll, I will talk about the football, but then I'll be lost. So well, got beat. Again. After going, what? Dagon got beat after going in front. Chester won, though! <laughs> Chester won, so I was quite happy with that. And then the team actually turned up and beat. <laughs> no, no, no, no, no, no. <laughs> but Anyway, we're going to move on to this. I've, I've decided that we're going to do the weird American news from now on before the gaming news. Leave the best bits to last. In our eyes, anyway. Yeah, but let's be fair, can we not do all these weird American news like every fucking week? Now? Sometimes you can't help it. Because some of the news is just the funniest thing. Yeah, but like, we're the pointless ones, you know what I mean? What, you mean like Florida's newest public masturbator tells cops he's on house hunting? I like that. <laughs> that is actually quite a good lie. It's like that. All right, mate. Yeah, I'm. I'm just a uh, house hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you just turn around a sec, fella? Yeah. So how do? Um, Daniel Lewis Davis sounds like he's in a flipping film. Is accused of parking in a residential area of Maryasta and masturbating in the street before <laughs> leaving. <laughs> um, he set himself apart from out over accused for the miscreants. However, when he allegedly told police, he was only looking for the new house. Do you know what makes it worse though? I have a guess who discovered him doing it. His missus? No. A girl? It was a girl. Five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Beavis. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow, she's been stuck, guys. The deputy in the air saw Dave's vehicle coming towards him and the suspect wasn't wearing a shirt at the time. You can imagine why he wasn't wearing a shirt. Um, <laughs> yeah. Davis's two previous arrests for ind indecent exposure this time around he was charged with lewd and I love this word las lascivious exhibition and intentionally exposing his genitals to a victim on the 16th row. He's going to be due in court on Tuesday, so he's going down. For some time. Uh, uh, he's going down for some time. Thanks for all the kicks. <laughs> thanks for the news. Um, that's why, and you want to go to Miami? <laughs> yeah, but that was in Miami. It's in Florida, though. It's a big fucking state. It's the whole of Florida, Mike, that does nutty things. Yeah, yeah, but still, that's like saying Birmingham is like. I've like, actually got some news about California, which is just the funniest thing. We've always heard weird animal stories, don't we? Every now and then you always get one of them, it's like, oh, I think cat kills something and all that. 
Uh, not really. This one, oh. Oh. It's got one of them stupid fucking... Bull of Fury. Tyrannical cat holds woman hostage in California home. <laughs> Whoa. What? Uh, the cat a woman was scared of a fucking a notorious cat. California cat has added to his bad reputation after holding the mother and an adult, do adult daughter hostage inside the... <laughs> Copy, what a name. A 14-year-old feline described by one neighbour as a ball of fury forced the pair to stay inside their house in San Diego by attacking them every time they attempted to leave. <laughs> I'd just fucking kick it. He'd boot it, wouldn't you? The cat, hey, cat me. The cat became enraged when one of the women got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and the pair were forced to call for police assistance after, after barricading themselves inside a bedroom. Oh wow. Okay, funny. I'm like, I could never have a cat. If I ever, like, right, if God persists that I was ever to get a girlfriend or anything. Do you think can we get a cat? Are you the type of person who'd buy a cat and just, just, just punch the crap out of you? I've seen these types like, before. No. She go, oh, let's just get a cat. I'd be like, you what? No, no, no, no, no, no. Sorry, say that again. You want me to buy a shit machine? <laughs> no. You want me to feed it? I'll have it shit all over me garden because you want it something to look cute and fairy and goes meow. <laughs> I <laughs> nah, this you next. buy me a V8 and all that and you can have your shit like <laughs> <laughs> and you can have your shit machine and then if not, we're getting a dog. We're gonna go to the German Shepherd. I'm gonna have a shit. This, I love this little cute. thing. This is armed officers who happen to be in the area arrived at the premises where they engaged in it. Stand up. The puppy refused to back down despite being heavily outnumbered. I love the way though he like finishes this. He goes, the cat eventually did lose her interest and strolled out the house. <laughs> it's like I've done my job for the day. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, that's that funny though. It's just awesome. and there's me thinking, you know what, America? Just... It's got some really cool people there. People that aren't scared of stuff like cats and dogs. Straight away. Mm. Woman got barricaded and hostages by a cat. It's just not funny. Just absolutely not funny things in my life. Why? Um, now we can move on to gaming news. Two things, really. That's I want to talk about. Well, we've now discovered what Vanguard is. It's the, uh, oh, oh, it's it's the Destiny. Hey, have you heard what it is? <laughs> it does, like, three ships. Yeah. Like, I'm getting it. I know. Because you didn't even hear the game. You hadn't actually seen the game before I told you about it, which is amazing. I had. Well, you hadn't really I had. It. I had watched the trailer and stuff. Because mm. um, I told you about it. And you're like, ooh, I don't know. No. And you said, anyway, so there you go. No. Why PlayStation? Yeah, ooh, it was nice. It was pretty. I've got one thing that's kind of annoyed me about gaming, and it's because of Xbox have nicked something off us. They've made Laura Clark Croft uh, an Xbox exclusive after this next one. I'm a bit peeved about that. I was so looking forward to having a whole Lara Croft series on PS4 and Xbox, but Microsoft have come in and gone, nope, I want that game. I don't, I don't think that's fair. I, I, I, I was, because I love the look of both the two, the, the new one lot coming out looks great, and I'm just sitting there thinking, I can't wait to get a hold of this new series, but what can you do now, like, now that the Xbox have gone and took it? I ain't buying no Xbox. And I know you're not either. And I know. Okay. There's not it's not Tomb Raider though, is it? <laughs> it's not Tomb Raider though, is it, mate? It's, no, it's no. an Irish assassin wanna be lad who's been fucked off lad. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Um I just, I wanna make a point now in terms of my gaming situation at the minute. Oh, I wouldn't oh. usually but Oh dear. Because, because of you the plans that we... Take off the arse, no. Keep your dildos away, no. lad. We don't... <laughs> I've got a... Um, this... I, um... Because I had... I, um... My dad gave me a, a spare fiver that was knocking around. And he said, well, if you get the PS4 between me and you, go out and pre-order a game if you want. And, um... I thought, yeah, okay. I'll go out and pre-order the game. And, um... I thought, yeah, that's that's what I'll do. I went, and fortunately this week... No! I went off. Fuck off! <laughs> Did you need to I went off and um, pre-ordered Project Ew. Cars. 
Sonra evde futbol ya o. Ey bu futbol kuyumun sahibi lan. Vuru yiğit demi. Fuck ha. Ama ne? Topu o. Topu o. İşte o zaman da. Ne? Fuck ha. Fuck ha. We told you guys to do it. We saw kicking shit. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Do you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna have to sit on a chair. Probably means no more pillows. Should be flipping. As long as there's a decent chair. It'll be a decent chair. Oh my god! Oh, even that, I'll just get you a stool. Get one of those really, cobras. Really, sports ones. I am sixteen. No, I'm fine. And I was. I pre-ordered Project Cars. And I pre-ordered the limited edition. I just want to talk about what they brought out with it. Uh, they've added some bonus DLC, which you get. Um, McLaren F1, which comes with it. Oh, you must have. Which is, uh, and you get the best thing is with the five exclusive cars you get, and you get. An exclusive career event with it, which is quite cool, actually. Kind of Sauber C9. You're probably going to be thinking, what's that? It was Schumacher's uh, first. He competed in like the endurance championship before he went into F1. No, oh. and that was one of the cars he drove. Oh, okay, yeah. That was powered by Mercedes, so you, you can sort of see how he got into F1. BMW M1 Pro car. Oh yes. Uh, Mercedes AMG C Class Coupe DTM. <laughs> and. The all conquering 1967 Ford Mark IV GT Le Mans race car. The red and white one, the classic that everyone loves at the end. Right at the end of its era. Uh, limited edition Sorry, also. I just have to bother your pillow a minute. I'm just, yeah. The limited edition also, which I've just ordered, comes limited with. Limited edition Vauxhall cars, I mean! <laughs> <laughs> Scotty will be sitting there like, we're gonna buy the PS1! <laughs> Comes with a limited, uh, it comes with a steelbook case, which is quite cool, and it comes with um, a 1.2 EcoTech engine lad. I can do 80 brake horsepower. <laughs> and which I think is quite amazing, and you're only and you're getting this for next ten, and a behind the scenes book detailing the development process behind the game. I'm really looking forward to getting that because that's going to be quite a cool thing to have. Development. And I just thought, while we're here, I want to go through. Just not all of the cars that are in the game, Ooh. but a good list of them that have been confirmed so far. Sorry, oh, I can't. I'm really awesome to get. Get, get, can you at least tell I me? I know for a fact that I know for a fact that you'll. When I get this game, you'll give it a go because you're that type of person. You'll give games goes. You will. When did it come out? November. Not for them. Al, uh, they've got an Alpine, which is quite cool. Three aerial atoms. Oh, okay, I'm interested. V8. The the V8 one, the Mugen, and the Supercharged 300. Couple of a uh, couple of all the R8s and then an R18 for Monaco. BAC Mono. Uh, BMW M1 Pro car, as we know. Three series Group Five race car, which is the old 80s race car. Stop. <laughs> couple of M3s, uh, a Z4 GC3. Yeah. No stop. Yeah. <laughs> They've got stock cars in it. Z4 GT3. The race car. The Z4 in general is just a women's hairdresser's vehicle. They've got a couple of caterums in there. Nice one. Full Capri's in there. Old S Cort RS 1600. Yes! Focus RS, the 09 one. Which you like. The old Sierra Cosworth, as we know. Two Mustangs in there. Yes! They are. Shop for GT Pound in? They were going to have that in, but they replaced it with the boss instead. Oh. I don't really know why they did that, but it might. They feel like that reason. We know they've got Formula One cars and stuff like that. Genetics, they've got. A, I like that. They've got the Gumpet Apollo, which I haven't seen in a, a game. I that car. No, the old game I know it's on. Is it on? Is it on Forza? It is. It's on Forza. I'll get a picture of it later. They've got classic Lotus F1 cars. So they've got Jim Clark's one, no they haven't, they've got Graham Hill's one, uh, Fittipaldi's one, I can't remember who drove from the centre. Oh, Mario Andretti's and Senna's 85 Lotus. Okay. A um, couple of McLarens, you've got the F1 obviously, the 12C, the GT version of that. The new one. The P1's also in there. Oh, that A couple of Merck Benzes. All of them. Make Benzes on the internet. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> make Benzes. Hi, mate. I'd like to, you can imagine you. And AMGs. AMGs. Like, I'd like to purchase the CD then. Oh, but. I like me, so I want to make Benz. 
They've got the um, <laughs> SLS AMG in there. A forty five. They have the. Um, do you remember the old nineties Mercedes one ninety touring car they had? I think so. Is They've it one that was like the same? Sonax, it's sponsored by. It's black. No. No. Uh, well, it looks like that. Evo ten. Yes. Is it like Evo nine? I am not. Sh- I haven't got that for that. It's got the Eclipse. I don't know. The Garnies, couple of them. Yeah. Palmer Jaguar, the LMP car, which is quite cool. A couple of Radicals in there. Is there a couple of Jags? I'm not sure. There's only so much light. It's not a race car then, is it? It's not a game. It's not a car game. If you don't have a Jag, a proper British Jag. Well, they do. They have a Palmer Jag, which is a proper Jag race car. No, no, no. Anyway, so I, let me get further now. A proper fucking Jag. Uh, they've got roughs only because EA is so tight they can't I be don't go to Burger King as I hate, fucking you know what? Big Mac. I, hate, I hate EA for that, for not letting any other game developer use Porsche. It really it's tight. can't do that. No, yes. they don't, honestly, don't get, don't let people have a license for it. They can't. Really t- the but people, they do. The only people that can stop that is Volkswagen. But they, they're, they're happy to side with fucking EA. I don't know why, because they haven't produced a good game for a couple of years now. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, they've got all these other cars though that have not been. They're going to be in the game, but they haven't been seen. Ferrari. A1 Quattro. R8. Bentley Continental GT3. Yeah. A couple of more BMs. A couple of full Focuses as well. They've got some British touring cars in there as well. So it's more basically. Uh, of a full BM. It's more of a European game, no? Japanese cars. Isn't it? There are some more Evos in there. Tommy Mackin in addition. Any or? GTRs in there? Uh, they have not. They are unconfirmed, but they are supposed to be in there somewhere. Which ones? Like, oh, I am not there yet. I'm not. You got loads of loads of second one cars again. DBR nine. Yes. That's the the racing one. <laughs> Tyrrell P thirty four. Yes. Now they've got a ton of Nissans. Here we go. Let's let's read them all out. Let's have a few the one. 82 KRD30 Super Silhouette, I remember that one. G- R90, 1990 Nissan Skyline GTR R32 Coupe. Mm-hmm. Nissan 300ZX. Mm-hmm. Nissan Primera Touring Car, which was badass. Primera! Uh, Nissan Skyline GTR. Oh, which one? The one that you like. Yes! Uh, Nissan ZR, the Nissan Altima V8 Supercar. Yeah. Nissan GTR 370Z. Uh, a couple of Lola's as well in there. They, uh, there were three cars that they were going to have, but they got replaced. BMW F1 car that they had in 2008 was going to be in there. That got replaced by the M3 GT4. GT500 got replaced by the Mustang Boss for the O2. And the Genetta G50 was replaced with the Genetta G55. There's one last thing, though, about project cars I want to talk about. The cars are impressive, but it's the tracks that are even more. It wait the, the Monaco, Spain. Brands has has been properly laser scanned, so it's got every bump and dip in the world. Cadwell Park, Donington Park, Mugello, which is Ferrari's uh, test track. Hockenheim, Imola, both versions Bull of Le Mans. Let me get there. Le Mans, Monza, Bruno, which is nice to see that in the game. Mm. Original Nurburgring, new Nurburgring, the Osher Slevin, which would be quite cool to see that track. Alton Park, laser scan. You're a Pro- fucking joke. Alton Let's see. Park, laser scan. No, I'm, I'm not going to get pictures. Silverstone. No, but I just want to see like the, the list. Oh, I'm going to go through each one. Silverstone, Snetterton, Spa, Zolder, which will be better. Yeah, I'm about to break my arm. So There's some more stuff. Hard. North American Circuits, Willow Springs, Sonoma Raceway. Circuits of America. Laguna Seca, Watkins Glen, Road America. No, is it, is it Wisconsin no, no. Raceway, yeah. Texas. Um, no, no, they don't need to put that in there. Asian Circus, they got the Dubai Autodrome, which is new, actually. The Dubai one? It's an Autodrome. Which is the one that they use for... Not that, no. Yeah, Zoo, and they've got Suzuka in there. Oh, you've got to have Bathurst is in there. Yeah. Loads of go-kart tracks. Two Country Roads, which is California Highway in the New York Coast. <laughs> Mm. Planned tracks include the Rua Puna Speedway, never heard of it, and Macau. You ever heard of Macau Grand Prix? Uh, Macau Grand Prix is the one of the most prestigious. It's like Michael Schumacher won it before he went into F1. 
It's going to be Sato. You know, like, champions of F1 have raced in it, so that's nice to see. They've got some historic tracks as well, which you're going to love. The Butter Road Sprint. <laughs> the yeah. Lime Street Dash. Yeah. Corporation Spin. <laughs> yeah. The Old Trafford Spin Around. Yeah. They got um, a, they put a, his, a, a fictional uh, Grand Prix track located in Scotland, which is called the Bannock Bray. It's quite cool. Nice to see a fictional track every now and then. The old, old Hockenheim. I mean, it just used to be straights. So that's going to be great. Yeah. Rouen Les Aisards, which is a track I've always wanted to race on. You've got the old Monza, the old uh, Milan from the old times. 1975 Silverstone, which is going to be badass. Solitude Wrench Track, which I'm not sure I remember. You've got the very old Spa Track, which goes through towns. <laughs> it was that amazing. Finally, in terms of other tracks, you've got uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway. Oh, yeah. Daytona, naturally, Delaware, Richmond, Indianapolis, and Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. So, yeah, that's all the time. I'm really looking forward to this game more and more, every time. Every day now, and I just I just hate that I've got to wait for the thing PS4 now, but it's just killing me inside. I hate that. I can't wait just to play the crew here yeah, anymore, no. Uh, on the crew? So I have a lot of news on the crew while you talk about what you think? Are you looking forward to Project Cars? Are you a little bit more excited for it now? You'll come round. I'm you'll come round. The the you'll, you'll, you'll come round to mine. You'll play it. And be like, yes, it just looks incredible. Uh, I'm just looking for the crew game. If there's anything, I never beat the game again. We got people out for the beat though. It's quite true. Uh, uh, yeah. I want a PS4. Example. I know I do. I want it now. I want it all. <laughs> I want an MGL PS4. Oh, um, they are actually bringing the crew to um, PS3 and um, last gen console as well. Oh, it's nice, nice to know that they still care about people. Oh, <laughs> been showing off some new game modes just in the last hour. Let's just see, let's just read this, this is news to me. And Are we on milk? Um, just over an hour. <laughs> Open world race again, let's see. Let's see into multiplayer, what are we? Ah, right here we go, they have the choice of gameplay modes, there's one called Scavenger Pursuit. It's a guess um, in your pursuit, and you rob something off them. Collecting some items and boxes, we assume it will be added to your adventure. If you escape and hill climb, so Escape is when you're getting away from the cops. Yes! <laughs> Me and Mikey are going to love that. <laughs> Margie, hey guys, what is up with that Opal Cadet? <laughs> Bye, Mark. Uh, they're doing a uh, hill climb, which is, you know, obviously we all remember Carbon from Need Speed. Yeah. That is supposed to, and it was a steep, you remember the canyon mode? Yeah. It's apparently supposed to be like that, in a way. But you're going uphill rather than down. So that's going to be quite bad. Uh, I don't know, I like going downhill though, because you... You might be able to go on downhill as well. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, what else have we got here? Mm. Take Down is another one, which... Oh, yeah, I told. That's obviously... No, you've got to have that in. It's not taking like down. Hey, like, okay, Mike, we're going to take... Bang! Why are you trying to do me? Like, oh, I thought we were taking you down. <laughs> well, then you know you're the one who's being taken down. Oh, oh, well. oh shit. <laughs> that's why I'm facing the wrong way, then. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Marty comes out of a truck. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. That's all that is. Uh, late news, anyway. That is. Uh, it, it didn't appear at Gamescom, so. A thingy of what? A concept out. I'm loving the. Fair. Oh. oh um, Advanced that. Warfare. We've got the trailer out. Some card. No, they bought an Xbox concept out of what the, it's going to look like. It comes out. Yeah, I'm not really interested. Oh, I'm not really interested in COD at the minute. Uh, I just thought the best. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, I'm loving the look more and more of this rift. Which is, Why the virtual, which is the virtual headset. I was watching some um, in-screen cameras oh, of it, mm. and it's supposed to look. Um, it looks amazing to be I'm fair. I'm thinking of getting all that air for use. Uh, air for eye. Which is. I can't remember the name of it. It's not. A, no, I mean, oh, it's it's a, yeah. no, it's a, a, a virtual gaming headset. Oh, well, you've got a controller, but you've been first person. It's supposed to be amazing. It does yeah, look pretty. It's going to be the future of gaming. 
No, no. Probably not, but you know, that's what they're all saying. I'll stick to the discs, you know. No, no, it's still got a disc in. But you can use the headset, you know. Okay, like, so you disc. know like first first person, you know like Call of Duty shooting games, yeah. stuff like that. Which, is, which I think would be quite cool, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's it for this week. Um, if you want to follow us on Twitter, follow Mikey at... Mikey Keaton XD. Mikey Keaton XD. Sorry, he's talking pillow. We can't hear you. Mikey Keaton XD. Sorry, if you want to follow Jap on Twitter, you go. Jap TM53 Synopsis. Uh, please like. like, subscribe, and. Yeah. <laughs> more of our shit. Uh, yeah, we, we're doing quite well um, at the minute. Our um, views are going up. Yeah, I've got, noticed as well. Got some plans over for the next couple of weeks. Next yeah. month. Well, it's next month, really, actually, now. Yeah, It is cool. only. What's the date today? 17th? Two. Next month. Exactly. Two, exactly. Two, three it's weeks. 28 days away. Three weeks. No, what What? what I'm doing is 20. Maybe not for you. Three, you're not... three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, but. Well, three weeks. I probably won't be able to get it. Three weeks. I probably won't be able to get it until a week later. <laughs> I'll get it on the day. Dude. Yeah, you can. But you won't be able to put anything up. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't mean that many calendar weeks. <laughs> but, um. When's FIFA coming out? That's 26th. I don't know. My friend has already pre-ordered that oh, pre-ordered. ultimate edition as well. Well, you know, you can, can't you? Are you going to pre-order it? No. I'm buying it on the day. <laughs> <Is it>? No. <laughs> oh, I, might do a, I might do a click and collect and get it from game. So exactly your own car party. Alright, mate, here's my reference number of my name. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's But uh, that's, that, that's it, people. Um, thanks very much for listening. Um, See you later, game boards. We've been the S team. <laughs>